so we are off to go pick up the first of two deliveries of our Ingram's Water and Air 3-ton Geocool uh, with install package. So, normally they would deliver it to your house, however, uh, the trucking company wanted to deliver it in a full-size 18-wheeler, and I'm going to exercise some better judgment and just go get it from the terminal because I don't think that a full-on 18-wheeler is going to be able to get in and out of my driveway. So, um, so we're off to, to the trucking terminal and we're going to pick up the first part of it, which is the, you know, the lines, the coolant, the pumps, the valves, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, the actual unit itself they're having to build it, so it'll be here in about another couple, three weeks, I suppose. So, anyway, so we'll uh, make our way down there, and uh, we'll come back here in a second when we get there and see them load it up for us. Okay, so we are at the trucking company. Uh, uh, I guess you'd call it the terminal. So, and all our stuff will be coming down that, well, part of it anyway, will be coming down that ramp in just a minute. So, anyway, we'll uh, wait and see. And there it is. Hard to imagine they packed 1,800 foot of hose on that little pallet. All right. Hey, let me get out of your way. Oh, of course it's fragile. All right. All right. Up, up. Up. There you go. Uh, up maybe a tiny bit more. That's good. There's like four sheets of OSB in there, sorry. The worst come to worst, I can always take the tailgate off, but let me move this over a little bit. Alright, go ahead on in, best you can there. Where do you want it at? Uh, just clear the tailgate, we should be alright. Come in just a tiny bit more. There you go, we're good. That looks like a winner. Much obliged. I got something to uh... okay. okay, so now that we're back from the trucking company, uh, I've got to somehow manage to get this off the back of the truck. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, cut the plastic off of here and take everything off one bit at a time so we can kind of get an idea of what we've got and uh, uh, check it against the packing list. So. Okay, so we'll start by unboxing the uh, manifold and pump assembly here. Very well packed. hand it to Ingram so they uh, <coughs> packed it up real good. Everything's nice and nice and secure it seems like. Oh yeah. So this is the this is the tank with the uh, circulating pumps all the coolant goes. There's the paperwork. What we'll do, since this is uh, rather heavy, we'll go ahead and move it out like so. Tank. And there's your, your 
two pumps and the control valves. Pretty durable little system there, I'd say. It's not that heavy. The box is heavier more than anything. <clears throat> and of course, you got the Grunfoss pumps. The documentation of them. And Geopulse on the installation and. Good stuff. And for your vertical well. What we'll be doing is a horizontal ground loop, but it's all about the same. <coughs> horizontal ground loop doesn't put as much of a load on the pumps, I don't think. So alright. And moving on, we'll move on to the next bit. Okay, this <coughs> now is the pump for the D superheater which is what will pretty much give us hot water all through the summer without having to run the water heater. Basically it's just another pump kind of like what's on the unit over there and, and it will circulate the uh, it will circulate the water from the water heater through the D superheater module in the geothermal setup and instead of all that heat having to go out into the ground it'll go through and heat the water in the water heater first thereby not requiring electricity to do so so there's a couple of about a three hundred dollar extra option there's also another bit that goes in the main unit itself, which we're going to get tomorrow, but, um, you know, it's well worth the money, I think. So, not sure what this is. I'll be able to identify it here in a minute as soon as I open it up. Filter? Yeah. Good foam packing. Ah, this is all. This is these are the manifolds and the valves. So these are what the lines that'll come up out of the ground. There's six of them. Be six of them. And uh, you got the little ball valves on them, so that you can. Uh, you only need, I think, one or two, uh, one or two loops running depending on you know what the system needs so you can shut the other loops off and use them as like spares or whatever in case something goes wrong but so that's what those are those are the manifolds all right Let's move on to this this is, says it's a one inch hose kit I'm assuming that's what goes from the manifolds to the to the unit itself. This is like six thousand dollars worth of Christmas anyway. It is. Yeah. They used to cost a lot more though. Yeah, that's true. Now, it wasn't long ago when one of these systems would be almost ten thousand dollars for just the, the system itself. And then you have an immense amount of labor to put them in, which probably you still do if you have to pay somebody, but one thing I have to say good about Ingram's uh, water and air is that uh, they, uh, you know, for them to put together a kit for a do-it-yourselfer, I mean, that's pretty awesome. So, and yeah, I know it's probably a little bit of risk because you get some guys out there that, uh, that uh, don't know what they're doing and they'll make a mess of it, but you know this kit's put together pretty well so if you follow instructions heavy duty couplings huh yeah these are uh, these are what screws down in the top of that reservoir and pump system so this will what be what goes from that into the unit so 12 feet plenty yeah okay and not that I don't have the absolute faith 
in this geothermal unit to keep my butt comfy warm in the middle of winter but it only makes good sense to go ahead and have electric heat strip backup just in case and, you know, as long as the, as long as the uh, you know, geothermal is working I'll never use it so it's a simple 10kw which is really kind of interesting honey because that's the whole of what heats the trailer now is it's a 10kw system interesting so yeah so now our system in the house has two two uh two 2.5s and a five uh, uh, of these where this is a single 10 so but uh perfect for sucking up some of that middle eastern oil and used to generate electricity huh <laughs> so anyway so we have that and that's pretty much it and then we have the hoses here for the ground loop you want to the camera over there and, uh, and your coolant or the yeah the coolant jugs of coolant are inside the inside the loops of hoses here okay and this is the uh, basically the antifreeze if you will that uh, you put in as the liquid that flows through the geothermal loop and it's a non-toxic environmentally friendly uh, gly glycol uh, they call it heat transfer fluid and uh, mix that 50-50 with, uh, with your water and uh, that's what makes your, your heat transfer medium much more efficient than air. That's what makes a geothermal so good. So anyway, moving right along. But uh, we have three 600 foot lengths of uh, hose and we'll be out there uh, we'll be out there uh, this weekend, this weekend. Uh, we're going to have some fun we're going to have a uh, I rented a humongous excavator they don't really re realize that they rent those to like normal people you know I mean we could really raise some heck with that thing. to the tune of yeah. drum roll drum roll please yes uh, yeah it cost about a thousand dollars to rent it for the weekend and uh, but think about the labor if someone else did it though you know if we paid we paid somebody else to do it you know, you're going to pay probably uh, a little more uh, with when you consider the labor, so uh, I'm not complaining. Well, not only digging, but installing it. They would charge you probably a whole lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and in the spirit of this being a DIY project and from the house and everything, you know, I'm not, again, us doing it ourselves. So, you know, Tammy will be out there guiding me in that big old excavator and, and we'll be digging some serious holes, so stay tuned. Okay, so aside from the actual main unit, which we'll be going to pick up from the trucking terminal tomorrow, uh, this is uh, basically all the bits and bobs that go into your uh, geothermal system. So make sure that uh, you call the folks at Ingram's Water and Air, and I'll put the I'll, I'll steal their logo and their phone number and put it like right there somewhere where that is. And uh, the folks there are real good, and they know what they're doing, and they're always very helpful. And, uh, and as most of y'all know, I don't really like plugging stuff or people on my channel, but you know, I will give these guys a plug because uh, you know 
like I said about uh, ESR up the road, you know, I know uh, I know good service and good people when uh, when I see it. So uh, stay tuned. We'll uh, in the next part we'll be going to get our uh, unit um, and we'll get that all set up, and then this weekend we'll be digging our uh, trenches. So stay tuned. <laughs>